No Dennis's may pass this line. Really? Yeah, it uh, it does that sometimes. It? Yeah, it got Giuseppe last Friday. How do I get up? You have to solve a riddle. You want to hear? Yes, I want to hear the riddle. Okay, well, the riddle is make yourself look good looking. All right. All right. Look at that. It worked. So that's how you do it. School time! School time! Show time! Yep. Alright. Alright, and welcome to the morning show. Today is our very special Thanksgiving edition of the morning show. That's right, Brad. And we'd like to take this time to thank all the people that make the morning show possible. Such as Mr. Neef and the entire CHS um, field hockey team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jim Hagledorf. Um, Giorgio. And especially Christian Bale, who provides all the funding for the production of the morning show and will appear on next episode for a very, very special interview. Very special. So, speaking of special, today on The Morning Show we have a story on the football team and the turkey bowl. Jim Hingeldorf ate all the gravy. That's true. So, we go now go live to Jim Hingeldorf and the football team. Take it away. Yes, yes, I hear. Well, football is a very nice, right? When you're eating on Thanksgiving, you yes, the turkeys, the ham, whatever, is the one thing in mind. When is the football game on? So, the Jim Hingledorf, knowing that people love football here in America, he talks to football coach of Kava High. Let's take a look. This is Jim Hingledorf here, here with the head coach of the Kava Crusaders. This is Coach Freck. Coach, how many years have you been coaching here at Kava? I've been coaching here at Kava for 17 years. I also st started out in Plymouth Kava school system when it was Plymouth and Kava. Uh, so I have a total of 25 years I've been involved with Plymouth and Carver football. And how many of those years has the Thanksgiving Day game been played against Middleborough? It's been uh, about 15 years against Middleborough. The beginning of the uh, school tradition was to play Hall High School. That was for the first uh, five years. Is there a sense of rivalry with uh, Middleborough? There has been a very, it's very, uh, very evenly matched year after year and uh, usually is a very good game. Uh, very uh, well played and usually, uh, you know, it's, it has a lot of tradition for this time of year. Speaking of traditions, Jim Hingeldorf was wondering, uh, what traditions do you do with the uh, varsity team towards the end of the year? Well, we have a uh, turkey bowl, which we have uh, with the players each year to uh, see who is the, usually a senior or a junior takes the turkey bowl championship each year. It's a one-on-one -on -one drill that we do. It's kind of a practice drill and it's a, a little tradition we've had for probably about the last 10 years here. We also do burning of the boot where we take uh, people's equipment, uh, certain things that uh, they become attached to during their football careers and we actually burn them in the, the outside uh, in the middle of the field. I like it. I like it. On a scale from 1 to 10, how much of an impact do the fans make on the players in the game? Well, the fans at any level is a big impact on the game. And uh, the fans can create a good atmosphere for you. And uh, we're always looking for a good crowd. And it's been uh, better and better each year as we get uh, more wins under our belts, which kind of rose up a little bit this year. The fans have been very supportive this year. And I think they should be supportive in all athletics here at Carver. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Jim. It's been good. This is Jim Hingledorf from 
the coach's office. Thank you and good day. Great success. That's right, Brad. Now, moving on to the news. The craft fair, it already happened. It came and went, and according to Andy Clinton, it was a great success. And we'd like to thank everyone who participated and attended. Not to be confused with the witchcraft fair that happened uh, actually one address next to the school. There was a lot of problems. Um, there, if, you, if you went there instead, it was an, it was an awful choice. Um, Ooh, yeah. That sounds it. Well, speaking of helping people, the can drive is starting up again this Monday. That's right. The way it's going to work is each class, like usual, is going to be competing against each other, and the class that raises the, or gathers the most cans will be the winner of an ice cream Sunday party. So kind of like Penny Wars, right? Kind of like Penny Wars. So if you have any questions, see Mrs. Lomax, um, and the Sunday party is hosted by um, the senior class. Is it going to be on a Sunday? It's going to be on Tuesday, actually. So it's a, is it a Tuesday-Sunday party or a Sunday-Tuesday party? It's, a, it's an ice cream Sunday-Tuesday party. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, Juniors, the, uh, the Lions Club uh, speech competition is tonight at 7 o'clock. So if you need directions, you can either see the Pathfinder Wizard outside of the school or um, Andy's Rusty Bus Company. It's actually a new limo service that opened up and Andy Clinton is in charge. So contact him. Yep. Also, the National Honor Society induction ceremony will be hosted on November 20th. All those who are going to be inducted should see Mrs. Bryant and make sure they have their sponsors in ASAP. So, Except that. I think that's the news. So now we go live to Jim Hinkledorf, or I'm sorry, Joe McCarthy, now in hallways. Good job. <laughs> According to Butterball Corporation, how long should you thaw a turkey in the refrigerator? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. I don't know. I'm used to doing it for three hours. Um, two hours. Two days. 24 hours. A day. A day and a half? Um, probably for like an hour. Hmm. <clears throat> You should thaw a turkey in the refrigerator for uh, 24 hours. You don't thaw turkeys in the refrigerator. Well, according to the Butterball Corporation, for every four pounds of turkey, you should thaw it for 24 hours. What's the first department store to hold a Thanksgiving Day parade? BJ's. Carver High. Macy's. 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 What? Macy's. What's what's a department store? Macy's. 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 Who was the captain of the Mayflower? Abraham Lincoln. Pat Ty. Bob Saget. I have no idea. John Smith. Pilgrims? Well, the captain of the ship Mayflower was manned by the name of Christopher Jones. Christopher Columbus? Was that him? I don't know. John Smith. What's the busiest travel day of the year? Spring break. <laughs> Hanukkah. Christmas? Christmas. 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 <laughs>
Black Friday. Yeah, well, the busiest travel day of the year is the day after Thanksgiving. Commonly known to the common folk as Black Friday. When Obama won a president. Day before Thanksgiving. Day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>